is Total Access. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? I'm really good. Sorry, I missed I was, missed you just now. My, my wife was uh, starting a bar core class on Zoom <laughs> and she couldn't get a microphone to work. Yeah. So I was I was being my playing my other job, which is um IT technician in my house, basically. Yeah, I'm the same. <laughs> I am the same. Uh, Are you the IT technician? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's <laughs> usually like stupid stuff. Like um, I don't know. Like it just needs some power or something like that. I'm like, just plug it in. Just plug it in. That's all you have to do, mate. Um, how are you it's doing? Better than my DIY technician. To be fair, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a strong DIY technician. That's a mistake to make. Start some yeah. DIY and not be able to finish it. Um, are you good? I'm great, man. Yeah, kind of not noticing a difference between my normal life and quarantine. Oh, really? Apart from not getting on planes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Because you're usually like working from home anyway. <laughs> I guess like uh, when um when i'm when i'm not touring which i was kind of apart from my tour last month um i was kind of trying to take a step back to just make music so when i'm not doing that i'm desperate to like i avoid meetings and everything anyway so like i i'm just making music and i communicate with everyone by phone and like facetime anyway so it's, i'm just so used to that like i'm like yeah this is <laughs> kind of normal to me hold on i've got a delivery <laughs> <laughs> Um, hold on. And then, hello, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. 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 See Don't ya. Worry, we'll cut all that out. <laughs> <laughs> just there's all, actually banter <laughs> just all, all the delivery dingles. men they stand like a couple meters like back which is kind of class to be fair do you know what fair play to them if they're meeting yeah. so many people all day i was thinking about this because uh like people are walking around the shops way too close and i'm like oh, oh yeah they are i want to get a broom just like well, it's, hold it between it's, us. Like, uh, it's the old people that don't take it seriously because like when you go to the shop around here because i'm up in um lincolnshire at the moment and you go around and i'm in a little village and the the it's the old people that's like we're not gonna listen to boris now and like uh we've been through much worse <laughs> like they're just like going to the spa shop and just like having a chin wag like like right there do you know what i mean and it's not on margaret it's not on yeah it's not on it's not on nancy <laughs> yeah so um so your wife's with you yeah is your uh, like rest of your family? What what's going on? So we um her we've got the we've got free house, mate. Okay. Her house, uh, this is her parents' house, and they've all gone. They live in Thailand. Nice. Um, so we're here. It's just us, and then um her dog, his name's Smirnoff. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> he's cool. He's uh he's knocking on a bit now. He's twelve years old, but he's he's still all right. You're right, aren't you? Yeah. Is, is that why he's not bothered at all? <laughs> he literally is not interested. Unless, and he's like, he just howls. He likes to sing, as you know, as huskies do. Okay, nice. That's, that's basically my life at the moment. Are you thinking about sampling it? Like, why what, not? What, sampling? Uh, do you know what? I have to... That's a good idea, actually. But he kind of gets on my nerves because he's obsessed with my wife. So, like, when he... When I haven't got over the jealousy that I have with this dog, like... <laughs> To, you know, I'm every day. Me and him just have this battle of like what he wants to do and what I w need him to do. And like, so right now, I find his whining a bit irritating. Okay. But what I need to just learn to accept that. You know, you know, he's got his needs too. <laughs> so once I get over that, I'll be sampling. Yeah, it's how it's like Mario. Let me love you. That one's got yeah. a howl in it, isn't it? <laughs> we do go like if you sing to him and go, he probably won't do it now. Um, but if you sing to him, go like, I love you, I love you, he'll start singing it back to you. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's cute, Huskies man. can kind of talk. They imitate you. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Um, have you learned anything about your neighbours whilst being there? Oh, we, we, my neighbours, we try to avoid the neighbours because um, the, you know, they've had, their pets have had run-ins with little Smirnoff over here. So, oh. um, but I bought myself an electric skateboard um, and I've just been skateboarding up and down the street. And uh, <laughs> the neighbours, they, they seem really impressed. 
they, I've learned that they're easily impressed because they're just like, wow, they're like not, mate. they're not. Yeah, they're just like, oh well, this is cool, man. Like your your electric skateboard, I love that. <laughs> Make the trip your one trip to the shop really interesting. <laughs> they're not impressed, man. They're like, what is he doing? He's lost the plot. <laughs> yeah, and then um, it's funny because obviously in this same village that we're in. Ella Henderson lives up the road. So that's like how we ended up doing real and how my wife is like her mom. It's all like a little family thing. Yeah. And um, so, and like, what would you know in this little village? You've got Ella Henderson and Jax Jones like just chilling in quarantine in the village. And um, I, every every so often I get a tweet when I've like gone to the local shop on my skateboard. It's like, oh, Jax Jones is walking down the road again. So yeah, they're nosy and they're easily impressed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> that's the takeaway from that i think yeah. have you um got any supplies in quarantine that you're like oh thank god i got that or like must have i tell you what i've just been trying out different biscuits every day <laughs> and um i tell you what the new love is yeah oh. i mean like these are easily ignored because usually you'd go for like the, you know, the regular digestive. Oh, if you're feeling a little healthier, you go for the um, dark chocolate digestive, which is less vegetable oil in it and stuff. Yeah, right. But these are insane. Like, you know, the, I'm all... If, for my real biscuit connoisseurs, yeah, Choco Libanez biscuits, right? <laughs> which are more chocolate than they are biscuit, and that's what makes them good. These are, like, most people can smash a packet of these in, in five minutes sitting, right? But these are a game changer. Right. Like, so yeah, they're, they're, this is my current quarantine snack. I do have a question here that says, are there any signs that you're losing the plot? <laughs> <laughs> that, this is just my normal demeanor. I've just got me, look, I'm in my, my it, it's funny, every time I've been doing interviews from home, obviously people have been commenting on my interior and it's not my interior design choice. It's, it's my father-in-law and my mother-in-law's tasteful uh interior design and um uh and it, i put up a few like instagram videos and tiktok videos and stuff and people are like wow i'm really surprised that jack jones's interior design choice and like like this particular piece oh. i've just been talking to this girl in quarantine she's holding up the table she's beautiful. and i just asked her like she's been committed to this for about 10 years that since i've known her and i just like really getting inspiration from that for my quarantine journey <laughs> do you know what i mean she's, she's gorgeous man um i know to be fair do you know who's the real pervert in this room yeah. is this guy yeah. you catch him licking her bum <laughs> every so often he just comes over and starts licking her it's like oh you're gross man off <laughs> it's like he knows it's like he knows yeah just nasty <laughs> You're just trying to slander him, man. I get it. Yeah, I get yeah. It. <laughs> he's about to do me for defamation of character. <laughs> Absolutely. Tequila, obviously, is out at the moment. Um, yeah. Tequila could be used as an antiseptic, we might say, <laughs> given the circumstances. That's true, actually. Um, yeah. How's the response been for you? Oh, it's been really fun. Um, obviously, no one's going out now, so it's kind of an anticlimax. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, the ultimate uh, going out banger but yeah it's, it's it's really fun really cool to kind of collaborate with ray again and have um continue the europa story of martin solveig who is feeling super sad in quarantine right Aww. now <laughs> so he's uh he's like oh i'm just cleaning and cooking and oh <laughs> so yeah it, it, that process was really fun um and yeah it seems like people really love it and i think it's just making them excited to get out of quarantine yeah, to man. party again <laughs> i i had a look on spotify i can't remember the exact number but it's like 40 million streams and that's only been out a couple of weeks or something isn't it yeah, well, yeah it's all right it's all right that's good man that's mind-blowing yeah, yeah. amount of numbers so i think you're right in that people are like at home and and kind of desperate to get out again what's the thir- first thing you're going to book in well, when I leave, mm-hmm. oh man, I was going to say a haircut, but I've been starting <laughs> doing my own hair, which is like kind of like a, a been a fun exercise. Yeah. I just, ah, yeah. oh, I just want to go and organize the best party. Like, cause I, we did, um, just before 
like the full lockdown happened, I managed to squeeze in my headline show at Brixton Academy. Nice. And like the, the energy, there's like, there are times when you have kind of a mass emotion, the same emotion in a room. And like, I've noticed it during the World Cup or if everyone's like celebrating a birthday or, you know, as like right now where everyone's experiencing the same thing, like all around the world. And that's kind of electric in, at the same time. So like at Brixham, where we all knew we were going to get shut down soon, and we got this thing and everyone took a risk to come to this gig. The The atmosphere was crazy. So I, I would love to relive that feeling again. Like when we're all out of quarantine and we just put on a party for like, I don't know, 3000 people or whatever. And everyone's just energized, like from just being trapped in the house. I don't know, that that first party, I just would love to, I, just, I don't care. I just put together the craziest lineup, mm -hmm. just get everyone to come and we just, have a, the greatest time, play tequila 20 times. I don't know, like, we just kind of go for it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd love to do yeah. that when we get out, man. It's going to be big. It's going to be so big. And it's that, that feeling of relief and, like, overwhelming emotion. Like, I, I think about it. I'm like, I'm, go I'm going to cry probably when I see people yeah, for the yeah, first yeah. time in, like, months. <laughs> so just, like, harnessing that energy and putting that into a, a live gig environment, that's going to be mad for you. Do you want it to be in the UK? Yeah, of course, man. That's my home turf, man. I think I'd love to do it in, like, I don't know, the party central. I, when I think of party, and I always think of, like, Manchester upwards. Yeah, like, nice. basically. So I'd love to do it somewhere in the middle so all the Manchester, pe the Midlands people can come and then the up north people can come and you're kind of, like, in the yes. middle. <laughs> the southerners, like, yeah, I've got love for the for London and that, but they get everything anyway. So, like, they'll, exactly. you know... Skepta will probably do so. I don't know. So like, we'll handle the middle bit. Do you know what I mean? I like that. I like that a lot. Well, um, yeah, man. Know, stay sane. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be uh, call me back in a week and I'll update you on my uh, Smirnoff Chronicles <laughs> and which biscuits I've tried since then. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat to me. And pleasure, um, man. Yeah. See you on the other side. Yeah. See you on the other side. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.